Well, good Monday morning to you. This is Grace Lutheran Church, New Albany, Indiana. I'm Pastor Bruce Kishnick. I'm senior pastor here at Grace. And it is Memorial Day today, Monday, the 25th of May, 2020. The title for this morning's meditation is Memorial Days. And the reading for this morning is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, starting with verse 23. Four, I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night that he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. I don't know how many of you remember the red poppies. I remember when I was a kid, the American Legion sold these little paper facsimiles of red poppies. And they sold them always around Memorial Day, sold them to, to use the proceeds to help out those who had been injured and wounded in war. The red poppies were a reminder of all those who had given their lives in defense of our nation and our nation's wars. And uh, those red poppies, I remember when I was a third grader, I was very proud of the fact that uh, the American Legion had sponsored a competition on making a poster for red poppies. And as a third grader, I won. It was the last time I won anything that had to do with art. And so I remember that very well. You know, red poppies were always sold around Memorial Day. Memorial Day is a holiday that's been around a long time. It has very deep roots. It goes back all the way to Civil War times. Uh, when the Civil War was over, various states and various entities sponsored Memorial Days, or as it was often called, Decoration Day. That's what my parents called it. Um, it, the whole idea was to honor those who had given their lives in that terrible war. Well, then as America went through other wars, the Spanish-American War, First World War, Second World War, then there were consecutive waves of remembrance that came along. And, and it wasn't actually until 1967 that Congress passed a bill that made Memorial Day an official holiday. It was always the 30th of May. A couple of years later, they, they did the one that made everything fall on Mondays, so there would be three-day weekends. Um, for a lot of people, I'm afraid that's what Memorial Day is. It's an opportunity to have a three-day weekend. It's sort of seen as the beginning of the official summer season. But really, its purpose and intent from the very beginning is that we should remember those who gave their lives in defense of our nation. And, of course, they are certainly worthy to be remembered. In our text for today, St. Paul uses Jesus' words that Jesus spoke at the Last Supper. And in those words, Jesus twice uses the words, remembrance. Do this in remembrance of me. It's an integral part of our celebration of communion. And that we remember what it is that Jesus has done for us. We remember all that he's accomplished for us in his, in his sacrifice on that Roman cross. We remember his body racked and broken by fists and by a whip, by a crown of thorns and by nails and a spear on that cross. We remember Jesus' blood shed at the base of that cross, reminiscent of all the blood of countless lambs that were shed at the base of the Jewish altars all through the Old Testament. And then to remember and to proclaim the death of Jesus Christ for the sins of the whole world. It's to remember and proclaim the forgiveness that comes to us by his sacrifice. Uh, Jesus should never be forgotten. He is worthy of our remembrance. One of the very best aspects of having people back in the Lord's house again in person on Sundays is that we've been able to celebrate Holy Communion together, the Eucharist. And, and as we do that, this is a, a meal and a remembrance that's meant to be experienced in the presence of other Christians. It's one of the things that's made us such a joy again. 
is that for those that have been there, when we take communion, we do that as a congregation. We do that as a community, as the body of Christ here at Grace. And for those of you that haven't yet had that opportunity, hang in there because it's worth waiting for. That day will come when you will feel safe and, and able to be back in the Lord's house. And, and uh, I'm pretty sure that none of us are going to take for granted anymore the importance of that sacrament. Going a couple of months without it and, and going a couple of months without one another present together as the body of Christ in this place, that, that's something that we have missed. And uh, when we do get that chance to be together again, we will remember the cost that it was for Jesus and the value that it has for us. Uh, we'll remember our greatest hero, and that's our Savior and our Lord, our Savior Jesus Christ. So I want you to enjoy your Memorial Day today. Uh, be sure to thank God today for the sacrifice of those who have made our country free and who paid the ultimate sacrifice so that we might live in freedom. And in defense of our nation, those who have suffered injury and disablement as well. And whenever your next opportunity comes to receive the sacrament, I want you then also to remember that we do it in the remembrance of the one who gave his all, who gave him soul and body, that we might have the that we might have salvation. So do it in remembrance of Jesus. Do it for him. Receive his gifts. Amen. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, we give you thanks on this Memorial Day that there have been people through the ages who have given themselves in our place, who have stood on the line, and who have paid with their lives that we might have freedom. We give you thanks today for those who have secured that freedom, who earned it in the Revolutionary War, who secured it in the Civil War, who protected it from enemies within and without over the years. We pray today, Father, that for those who are remembering loved ones that have been lost in those wars, as they remember relatives that gave their lives before, we pray, Father, that you'd heal those hearts, and that you'd lift them up. We pray with thanksgiving for our nation and for the blessings that you've given us. And we pray this day that you'd keep us safe in your hand, continue to bless us and our families, and protect us from this newest threat, this little invisible thing that can't be seen, but that's caused so much grief and so much trouble. We pray, Father, that it would continue to recede, that we would have scientists who would find new ways to combat it, and we just simply put ourselves into your hands. Lord, bless us on this day and always in the name of our Savior, Jesus. Amen. Um, just a few announcements. I want to remind you that you can join us uh, every day this week yet um, for the daily devotions. And then also on Saturday, we'll have the weekly review once again. Church will be open on Sunday for those who feel comfortable in coming, both the 8 o'clock and the 1030. Obviously, both of them will be also online once again. Um, and communion will be offered in both services also this coming weekend. Um, Saturday service and our regular communion schedule will go back into effect starting on the first weekend in June. So Saturday the 6th at 5 o'clock, we will have church um, and we'll be there in-house. And then again on Sunday, um, communion will go back to the regular schedule. And if, and if it's been so long that you've forgotten, it's uh, communion in early service on the first and the third Sunday, communion in the late service on the second and the fourth Sunday, and then communion in Saturdays would be on the second and the third Saturdays. So back to the old schedule, we'll do that. Um, uh, I think that was all of it on that. Confirmands and her parents, we have um, a practice coming up on Wednesday night at six o'clock so we can get you fitted for your gowns and so on. And then Saturday morning, starting at 9.30, we've got pictures taken and then another practice for it. And, uh, and then on Sunday in the late service, 10.30 service, we will have communion. Or, well, yeah, we'll have communion. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll, we'll have confirmation. So that's all coming up. So that's it for today. Enjoy your Memorial Day. We'll see you soon. God be with you. Bye-bye.